What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Casper's Kicks is checking in once again. If you're new here, if you're returning, welcome back to the channel. As always, I appreciate y'all y'all support. I appreciate y'all for tuning into the videos and just constantly being there and just watching the channel. Um, so today for y'all, I do have a sneak review. It is over a Nike Dunk Low that is getting ready to come out in a couple days actually. Um, like I told y'all, I'm bringing the early reviews for y'all, trying to keep y'all up to date and just give y'all a view of the shoe before they even come out. And I don't, I haven't really seen too many reviews on this shoe. I honestly don't think I've seen any reviews on this shoe. So hopefully this is of some help for anybody that is interested in going for this shoe and just wants to get an early look at it. So as always, subscribe to the channel, like the video, hit that notification bell. Like I always tell y'all, I'm keeping y'all up to date with everything going on sneaker related as best as I can and as quickly as I can get it out to y'all. But we're gonna go ahead and jump into the review and I hope y'all enjoy it. So like I said, it is a Nike Dunk Low um, that it come, it's getting ready to come out. Um, they actually come out August 11th. They were originally supposed to come out August 4th, but they were delayed, you know, all, with all the COVID situation and just everything going on and cases going back up. Stuff is just gonna start getting delayed again. We've already experienced that uh, this year and last year. So just have to stick with it and just kind of go with the flow of what Nike wants to do. But to start, we're gonna jump in with the box. So it is just a regular Nike Dunk Low box. Nothing crazy. Regular Nike box. All right, so the color or reading the uh, tag on the box it reads Nike Dunk Low SE the colorway is cell and vintage green this is a size 11 and a half which is my personal size and I do plan on keeping these a uh, retail I believe is 110 for this shoe um, where I got this shoe so I want to give a quick shout out to Laidback Kicks he is located in Houston Texas um, he actually ran a raffle for these and he's been he had a couple early pairs um, and he's been running raffles for him, so check him out on Instagram. I will put his page up on the screen right now. Like I said, I won on a raffle. I think I, I paid like 40 bucks or 40, 50 bucks, whatever it was for the raffle, and I ended up winning the shoe. So check him out. Great dude. I, I've done several deals with him, so uh, hit him up on Instagram if you're if you need anything and you're in the Houston area, or I think he ships too. So just check him out. But like I said, regular box. Here's the tag for those interested in it. What it looks like. All right, so moving to the inside of the box, you do have the regular paper. Nothing extravagant with this shoe. All right, so let me get the shoes out the box and then we will jump into the review. Boom. All right, so I'm gonna go through both shoes for y'all because both shoes are different. Like the print on both shoes are different. So we're just gonna start with one and then move to the other one. All right, so this is the Dunk Low Cell Multi Camo. So I'll give you all the quick 360, and then we'll go into a breakdown of the shoe. All right, so let's jump in with the outsole. You do have that green outsole on the bottom. It's like a dark green. And then moving up, you do have that white midsole and that goes all the way around and then continuing up we'll start at the toe box you do have like a mesh kind of canvas print there and that's on the toe box and that's even the same thing behind the Nike swoosh and that's on both sides now with the Nike swoosh you do have that same color green that's on the bottom of the shoe and the swoosh is the same on both sides. So no different colors there. Now, let's move to the camo print. So starting at the front on the toe box, you do have, I guess you could call it an Arctic camo. And that's on the front of the toe box. And that just goes all the way around. And then moving to the heel, you do have, I would call it a desert camo. And that's on the heel of the shoe here. And then on the where the laces are, 
I guess you could call it like a forest camo. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong on these different camo names. I'm just trying to think just off what I think they would be, what they are. Um, but it is like a forest camo around the laces. And that's on both sides of the shoe. And then on the back of the heel, I'm not sure what this camo is called. So I'm not even going to attempt to guess. But that is what's on the back of the heel. Now these do have white laces. I don't think they have extra laces. Yeah, no extra laces with these. They come with white laces with green aglets on there or green lace tips, whatever you want to call them. There's nothing on the lace tips, but it is that same green that's just present on the outsole and on the Nike swoosh. On the tongue, you do have that green and it just reads Nike on the tongue. See that there. Going to the back, back to the back of the shoe, you do have Nike in green. As you see that green colorway is present in a lot of different areas on this shoe. And then moving to the inside of the shoe, you do have a uh, the green, uh, I guess, in, the insole is, or the inside of the shoe is green, along with the insole, which is green, and it is an orange Nike uh, swoosh or Nike logo on the inside. So that is what the inside looks like there. All right, so that is the left shoe. Let me make sure I didn't miss anything, and I think we're good. So we're going to go to the right shoe now, and it has even different color camo patterns on here so I'm not gonna attempt to, to guess these because I really don't know what these are on this shoe well I guess actually now that I look at it um the camos are really the same it's just kind of in different spots than they were on the left shoe so we'll jump right in so on the toe box you do have that kind of oranges colored camo which on the left shoe we saw on the back of the shoe I'll show y'all so we saw it here on the back, that's that same color camo that you have on the toe box here. And then continuing on, you do have the Arctic colored camo around the laces. And that's on both sides as well. Of course, we saw the Arctic camo on the toe box of these, of the left pair. And then continuing on towards the back of the shoe around the heel. You do have that, I guess you could call it the forest camel, like I said earlier. And that's all around the heel. And you had that color camo on the lace tips of the shoe. See, I'm figuring this shoe out along, just right with you. I haven't even looked at these shoes in too much detail since I got them today. But like I said, that's that same camo right there. That's on the heel of the right shoe. And then looking at the back of the heel, it does have a Nike basketball logo there. No Nike written out there, just a Nike basketball logo in orange. And then you have that camo print on there as well. And let me look at this one. This one is, I believe, this camo that was on the heel of this shoe. So I think it is pretty cool how the camos are intertwined just in different areas on both shoes. I think it does make it a little different. Um, the lace tips and the laces are the same on the right shoe as well. It is the white laces with the green lace tips so that's the same I believe everything else is the same on this shoe the outsole is still green the swooshes are still green and it is still that mesh canvas material up here on the front and you can hear it when I scratch it so that is the sale or Nike Dunk Low Sale Multi Camos if I had to pick between the shoes I do think the that the left shoe is a little better than the right shoe and that's just my opinion. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Which shoe is better? I'm trying to give y'all the side view. Hopefully y'all can see both of them. But y'all let me know which what y'all think. Which is it the right is the right shoe better or the left shoe? I don't know why I could not get that out. Um, but let me know which one y'all think is better. Like I said, I think the left shoe is better. With that white uh the Arctic camo on the front. But I know everybody has their different opinions. Uh, like I said earlier in the video, these were originally supposed to come out August 4th, but now they're coming out August 11th. And there also is a Nike Dunk Low Black Multi Camel that is coming out on August 18th. And I think the, the, sales, the sale colorway is better than the black colorway, in my opinion. 
I'm just kind of looking at the black colorway on sneakers. And I'll put up a picture so y'all can see what they look like as well. They're 110 as well. And like I said, they come out August 18th. But I think I like the sales better than the black. Now, I may try and cop the black early. I'm not sure. And of course, I'll do a review for y'all if I do. But if I, like I said, if I were picking between the two, I would for sure pick this colorway over the black colorway. So, of course, last 360 for y'all. The outsole as well. And then the top. And then same thing on the left shoe. Last little 360 for y'all. And then outsole. But like I said, let me know in the comments what you think about the Nike Dunk Glow Sale Multi Camos. Which shoe do you like the best? Is this a shoe that you're going to go for? Like I said, they do release on sneakers August 11th. Retail price is $110. Same as for the Black Multi Camos August 18th. Retail price on those is $110 as well. Not too expensive, of course. We know the Dunk Craze this year has been off the charts. So it's really no telling if these are gonna, how these are gonna do. I haven't even looked at resale prices for them yet. So I couldn't even tell you off the top of my head what, um, what they are. But as always, like I said, let me know in the comments. Y'all not respond to every comment. So let me know what you think. Let's have a discussion. Like I said earlier in the video, subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button, turn on the notification bell. I'm hoping to bring y'all some more early reviews just so y'all can see what shoes look like before they come out in case you're wondering or you're just kind of on the fence about getting a shoe follow me on instagram it's the same as the youtube channel cat at casper's kicks or casper's underscore kicks excuse me but as always i appreciate y'all for stopping and checking out the video and i'll catch y'all in the next one